Welcome to the Bivok. This is the game of Soul Catcher. Your goal in this game is to have the last flag remaining or have the closest hidden flag to the spire after the 15 minute timer has run out. To play this game, you're going to need to give each player a number or a color in this case and an object that is the same, that also bears the same number as them. So that's their soul. Once everybody has that, the game will begin. You'll immediately start a 15 minute timer. And when that timer starts, these players are going to scatter and try to hide their flag in a good spot. Once a player hides their flag by not holding it anymore, it's considered hidden. And they may begin to go and tag other players or find other flags. If you are tagged by another player on the back or below the knees, you are considered stunned. A stunned player, you have two choices. You can either immediately go to the spire and wait 60 seconds, or you can touch your own flag. But until you do either one of those things, you are not permitted to do anything else. That includes stunning other players, searching for flags. You have to do one of those two things. If a player is stunned, but they are actually still holding their flag, that player is instead captured. And we'll talk about that later. If a player finds another player's flag, okay, he comes across somebody else's flag, they may pick it up. If a player tags that other player with their flag in hand, anywhere on them in, in, in this capture tag, then the tagged player is now instead captured. And they join the team of the player who captured them. All right, and their old flag can be returned to the spire. It's out of the game. Captured players join the team of the player who captured them. And they can do everything that a normal player can do, including finding other flags or attacking other players. However, if they themselves are stunned, they have to go to the spire and wait 60 seconds because they no longer have a flag to go back to. when a player is captured, let's say blue here captured this yellow player, okay? My guy and their flag. Yellow will now join the team of blue, okay? And their flag is gone. But this other player who was on yellow's team is now out, okay? So if your captor is captured, you're out. After 15 minutes, the game is over. The player with the closest flag to the spire is considered a winner, assuming their flag is still hidden. If there is only one player with a flag left, the game is instead immediately over. You don't wait for the 15 minutes to go up. And that player, they've won, wins. You win if you are either the person who still bears the flag that's alive, or you are on their team because they captured you. Okay, so that's the two ways you win. You're either on the team of that person or the person themselves. Once you place your flag, you are not allowed to move it in any way. That includes your teammates. That is the entirety of Soul Catcher. Good luck.